Well, here I am, your favorite New Yorker. I better be your favorite New Yorker if you know what's good for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I can't make it. I just don't go out eating indoor restaurants. I don't do it in New York City. I don't do it here. I don't do it anywhere. Usually I eat in my bathroom alone. That's because my partner's immunocompromised, and so I got to take care of her. And actually, <clears throat> recently I've been diagnosed as being immunocompromised. I said, Doctor, I don't want to say exactly what I told the doctor. I said, God damn it, Doctor, I'm going to find another doctor who knows more than you. So after he got up off the floor and wiped the blood off his face, um, he said, Well, you're doing good, Philip, but we got to keep an eye on you. Anyway, let me get to the point here. I can't make it to dinner, but I'll miss you, and I want to say hi to everyone. And it, it was something I was looking forward to for a while. The rain apparently came and screwed up the plans down in Golden. Um, so that kind of pisses me off. Oh, sorry for the bad language, kids. I know there's some kids listening to this. Anyway, I just want to say hi to Jim and Jackie. Jim and Jackie, I haven't seen you for years. Jim, man... We lived together. Remember Boris, that moron? Anyway, <clears throat> um, I don't have to go back into that. So, we, I miss, I'll miss you, Jackie. I'll miss you as well. This is Debbie. I really, truly liked you a lot. I really did, and it's special. I'm gonna miss you. So, um, I just want to say hi to you as well. Hope to see you another time. Sean and Katie, of course, you know I love you, you maniacs. I mean, I remember I was there when you were born. That damn it! And when Sean, when you were having a tent tantrum on the on that Mesa Trail and sat down and cried, man, you little wimp. And now look at you, a big wimp. Cool. All right. I don't know the kids really well. That is um, Elliot, Alice, and Olive. I don't really know you that well. But uh, you must be wonderful because Tom seems to love you. And uh, Tom has a pretty good head on his shoulders sometimes. Uh, not all the time, of course. And let me see. Betty, I don't really know you. I know of you, of course. I know your story. I don't know you, so I'm saying hi to you anyway. Who am I missing here? Penny. I don't miss Penny. Penny I'm going to see in a week. Penny's my bud. She's my lonsman. Right, Penny? I'll see you in a couple of days if we survive this trip, if Tom and I survive each other. And of course, Tom, who I still consider my best friend. Yes, I do. I don't give a damn what he thinks. That's what I think. So there you go. We're going to have a good time down there, and we're going to make a lot of jokes and be basically a couple of idiots, you know, having a good time. So, uh, Andy... I met you, I, I don't know you well, but I met you, and you're married to Katie, so you're important for that reason alone, you know. And uh, let me see, what else? Um, holy crap, I'm looking old here on this stupid thing. Anyway, uh, we won't get into that. Uh, I think I got every, I think I covered everybody there. If I miss somebody, my apologies. I can't make it today, it's raining like hell out there, and I'm gonna go out and eat by myself tonight, I guess. Bring my book with me, have a couple of glasses of wine, relax, come out tomorrow morning and see Tommy, and we'll head down to Crested Butte. So have a great time, everybody. I love you all. Okay? See you. Bye.